Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hope you're doing well. We're continuing our reading of the Book of Salah, okay? And Sunan Abu Dawood. Let's begin. Bismillah rahman rahim Now, there was one last point here is that the word at hand means to pronounce and inform. And here it refers to particular words by which the people are informed about the entry of the time of one of the obligatory prayers, Salah. The words of the Adhan are pronounced with a loud voice so that the people could hear the call. The statements in the Adhan are a specific trait of the Muslim Ummah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure we got that in because we're finishing that section and then moving on to this one. Okay, Abdullah bin Zayd narrated, When the Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered that a bell be rung so that the people congregate for the prayer, I saw in my dream a person coming to me with a bell in his hand. So I said, O servant of Allah, will you sell me the bell? He said, What will you do with it? I said, We will call people with it to the prayer. So he said, Should I not inform you of something which will be better than this? I said, Yes, of course. So he said, Say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hayya la salat, hayya la salat. Hayya la fala, hayya la fala. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allah. MashaAllah. And in English, Allah is the most great. 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 I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer. Come to the prayer. Come to the pro come to the prosperity. Come to the prosperity. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Mashallah. Then the person moved a small distance away and said, Then you should say, when you wish to start the prayer, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, Hayya la salah, Hayya la falah, Qad qamati salah, Qad qamati salah, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, La ilaha illallah, Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer. Come to the prosperity. The prayer is about to begin. The prayer is about to begin. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. The next morning, I came to the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and informed him of my dream. He said, This is a true dream from Allah. Allah willing, stand up with Bilal and tell him the words that you saw in your dream. For he has a louder voice than you. So I stood with Bilal and started reciting to him the words. Then he would call them out loudly. Umar bin al-Khattab heard this while he was in his house. So he left his house, dragging his rida behind him, saying, I swear by him who sent you with the truth, O Messenger of Allah, I too dreamt the same dream that has been shown. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Then all praises are due to Allah. Hassan. So the dream the Adhan, Umar bin 
Calcutta. Abu Dawood said, This is also how the narration of Ahsuri is from Said bin al Musayyab, from Abdullah bin Zaid, and Ibn Ishaq also reported it from Ahsuri. He said in it, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru. While in their narration, from Ahsuri, Mamar and Yunus said, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru. They did not say it twice. Muhammad bin Abdul Malik bin Abi Mahdrahura narrated from his father, from his grandfather, that he said, O Messenger of Allah, teach me the Sunnah practice of the Adhan. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, wiped my forehead and said, Say, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru. Allahu Akbar. Allah is the most great. Great Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. And raise your voice while saying them. Then say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. I bear witness that none has a right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. All of this say silently with a low voice. Then raise your voice with the testimony of faith. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hayya la salah, hayya la salah, hayya la falah, hayya la falah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer, come to the prayer. Come to prosperity, come to the prosperity. And if it is the morning prayer for which you are calling the Adhan, you should say, As salatu khayrun minan naum. As salatu khayrun minan naum. Allahu akbaru, Allahu akbaru. La ilaha illallah. Prayer is better than sleep. Prayer is better than sleep. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Sahih. MashaAllah, so we see that there's a different one for Fajr. I've never lived in a place where I've gotten to hear of Fajr at him, so if you have, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Made a delicious uh, chaga tea drink with the vanilla extract, organic brown sugar syrup that I made with some half and half from grass-fed cows organic it's very good mashallah there is another chain from Uthman bin Asayib who said my father and the mother of Abdul Malik bin Abi Mahdura informed me from Abu Mahdura from the Prophet peace be upon him with similar to this narration and in it say As salatu khayrun minanum As salatu khayrun minanum Prayer is better than sleep Prayer is better than sleep In the first adhan of the morning prayer Hassan Abu Dawood said The previous narration of Mustadad is more detailed for he said in it and he taught me the ikama that I should say each of the phrases twice Allahu Akbaru Allahu Akbaru Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Hayya la salah Hayya la salah Hayya la falah Hayya la falah Qad qamati salah Qad qamati salah Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, 
La ilaha illallah. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer. Come to the prayer. Come to the prosperity. Come to the prosperity. The prayer is about to begin. The prayer is about to begin. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Hasan. Abu Dawood said, Abdur Razak said, And when you say the ikama for the prayer, then say twice in it, Kar kamati salah, Kar kamati salah. The prayer is about to begin. The prayer is about to begin. Have you heard what I have said? And Asaib said, Abu Mahdura would not cut the hair of his forehead, nor would he part it, since the Prophet, peace be upon him, wiped over it. <laughs> That's funny. Why? Well, he didn't say you could, but this reverence, I guess. It was reported from Hamam, who narrated it, from Amir al Ahwal, who said, Maksul narrated to me that Ibn Muhariz narrated to him that Abu Mahdura narrated to him that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, taught him the Adhan as 19 phrases and the Ikma as 17. The Adhan was Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Hayya la salah Hayya la salah Hayya la fala Hayya la fala Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, La ilaha illallah. Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I, wi I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer. Come to the prayer. Come to the prosperity. Come to the prosperity. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And the ikama was Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, Ashadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah, Hayya la salah, Hayya la salah, Hayya la falah, Hayya la falah, Qaqamati salah, Qaqamati salah, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru, La ilaha illallah. Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer, come to the prayer, come to prosperity. Come to the prosperity. The prayer is about to begin. The prayer is about to begin. Allah the most great. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. This is how the hadith of Abu Mahdura was written in his book. Sahih. MashaAllah. Excellent. So, perfect for memorization. Absolutely fantastic. There is another chain from Ibn Juraj, Ibn Abdul Malik bin Abi Mahdura, meaning Abdul Aziz, 
informed me from Ibn Muharriz from Abu Mahdura who said the messenger of Allah peace be upon him personally taught me the adhan and he said say Allahu Akbaru Allahu Akbaru Allahu Akbaru Allahu Akbaru Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah Allah is the most great Allah is the most great I bear witness that none has the right to be worshiped but Allah I bear witness that none has the right to be worshiped but Allah I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah come to the prayer come to the prayer come to the prosperity come to the prosperity Allah is the most great Allah is the most great none has the right to be worshipped but Allah Say each of these phrases twice silently, then repeat them and extend your voice while saying them. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Ashhadu anna Muhammadan Rasulullah. Hayya la salah, hayya la salah. Hayya la falah, hayya la falah. Allahu akbaru, Allahu akbaru, la ilaha illallah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer. Come to the prosperity. Come to the prosperity. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Sahih. MashaAllah. Okay. Okay. There's another one, but I think we get the gist of it because it's pretty much repeating. So we're going to skip that one. 506. It was narrated from Amr bin Mura that Ibn Abi Layla said, As Salah went through three stages, and our companions narrated to us that the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, it would please me that the prayer of the Muslims, or he said, the prayer of the believers, be unified that they all pray together. So much so that I desire to send people out in the localities to inform the people of the times of the prayer. And I desire to command people to stand on the city walls to inform the Muslims of the times of the prayer. He, Ibn Abi Layla said, So they started to use bells, or were about to start to use them, until a person from the Ansar came and said, O Messenger of Allah, when I returned after having seen your concern, I saw in a dream a person wearing two green garments. He stood on the masjid and said the Adhan. Then he sat down a while, then stood up and said something similar, except that he said in it, Qad Qamati Salah. The prayer has been established, and were it not for the fact that the people would talk about me, Ibn Muthama, Muthana, one of the narrators said, that you would say something, I would have said that I was awake and not asleep. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Ibn al-Muthana, one of the narrators said, Allah has shown you something good in your sleep. Amr did not say, Allah has shown you something good in your sleep. So commanded Bilal to say the Adhan. Umar bin al-Kitab then said, Indeed, I have too have seen just as he has seen, but seeing that he preceded me in informing the Prophet, peace be upon him, I was embarrassed to inform him as well. Well, that's really remarkable just to see that dreams playing such a significant role. He, Ibn Abi Layla said, Our companions also narrated to us that in the early days of Islam, a person would ask how much of the prayer he had missed. 
so he would be informed by those praying, and then they stood up and prayed with the Messenger of Allah. Some would be standing, others in ruku, others sitting down, and yet others praying with the Messenger of Allah. Ibn al-Muthana said, Amr said, and Hussein bin Abi Layla narrated it to me from Ibn Abi Layla until Muad came, Shuba said, and I heard it from Hussein. So he said, I cannot see him, the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in a state, up to his saying, for you so to do as he did. Abu Dawood said, then returning to the narration of Amr bin Mazuk, he said, so Muad came, so they noticed, so they mentioned, sorry, it's a word that's like, okay. So Muad came, so they motioned to him how many rakahs he had missed. Shuba said, and I heard this from Hussein. He said, Muad said, I cannot see him, the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in a state except that I too must be in that state. So he, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, Muad has established a precedent for you, so you too do as he did. And he, Ibn Abi Layla said, Our companions informed us that when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, came to al Madinah, he commanded them to fast three days, then the ruling to fast, Ramadan, was revealed and they were a people who were not accustomed to fasting. So fasting was very difficult for them. Whoever would not fast, he would instead feed a poor person. This verse was then revealed. So whoever amongst you witnesses the month, then let him fast it. After this, only the sick and traveler were excused, and the rest of them were commanded to fast. He, Ibn Abi Layla, said, our companions informed us that a fasting person could not eat if he fell asleep in the evening before having his meal until the morning. Once Umar bin al Khattab returned after fasting and desired his wife, but she said, I had fallen asleep. However, he thought that she was trying to find an excuse, so he approached her. Another person of the Ansar returned home and wished to eat, but they, his family, told him, Let us cook something for you. So he fell asleep and was not able to eat. The next morning, this verse was revealed. It made awful for you to have sexual relations with your wives on the night of the fast. Daif. Okay. Mashallah. It's also a discipline, right? Something fascinating about the... Holding off and waiting. Okay. Let's see. This is a different pen color. It was reported from Al Masudi, from Amr bin Mura, from Ibn Abi Layla, from Muad bin Jabal, that he said, Asala went through three stages. And Asala, the fasting, went through three stages. And Nasir reported the entire hadith. Ibn al Muthana only narrated the fact that they prayed toward Bayt al Maqdis and said in it, The third stage was when the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, initially arrived in al Madinah. He prayed towards Bayt al Maqdis for 13 months. Then Allah revealed this verse, Verily, we have seen you turning your face toward the heavens, and we surely turn you to a Qibla that will please you. So, turn your faces in the direction of Al-Masjid, Al-Haram, in Mecca. And, wherever you people are, turn your faces in that direction. So Allah, the Mighty and Sublime, turned towards the Kaaba, and He completed the narration Nasser mentioned the name of the person who saw the dream and said, 
So Abdullah bin Zaid, one of the men of the Ansar came. And he also said in it, the man in the dream faced the Qibla and said, Allahu Akbaru, Allahu Akbaru. <sighs> Hold on. Allah is the most great, Allah is the most great. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Come to the prayer two times. Come to the prosperity two times. Allah is the most great. Allah is the most great. None has the right to be worshipped but Allah. Then he remained quiet for a while. Then said the Ikama in a similar fashion, except that he said, after saying, Hayya la fala, come to prosperity, Kar kamati salah, ka kamati salah, the prayer is about to begin, the prayer is about to begin. So the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, reiterate it to Bilal. And Bilal then said the Adhan with it. And he, the narrator, said with regards to the fasting, the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, would fast three days of every month. And he would fast the day of Ashura. Fast the day of Ashura. Okay, would the Prophet would fast three days of every month. Three days of every month. So Allah revealed, fasting has been prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may achieve taqwa. A fixed number of days, but if any of you are ill, or on a journey, the same number should be made up from other days. And for whoever is able, let him pay a ransom for the feeding of a poor person. So whoever wished to fast would fast, and whoever wished to not fast and instead feed a poor person was permitted to do so. This was one stage. Then Allah revealed the month of Ramadan is the month in which the Quran was revealed. A guidance for mankind and a clear proof for guidance and the criterion so whoever cites the crescent moon of the month let him fast it and whoever is ill or on a journey then he must fast the same number from the other days after this fasting was obligated on the one who witnessed the month and the traveler was required to make up the missed days and the old man and woman who could not fast, were required to feed the poor. So Sirma came home after working the entire day, and he completed the narration. Daif. Chapter 29, The Ikama. It was reported from Anas bin Malik that he said, Bilal was commanded to make the Adhan even and to make the Ikama odd. Hamad, one of the narrators, added this narration, except for the phrase of the Ikama itself, Sahih. There is another chain from Anas which is similar to the narration of Wahib number 508. Ishmael, one of the narrators, said, I narrated it to Ayyub. So he said, except for the phrase of the Ikama itself, Sahih. Ibn Umar narrated the phrases of the Adhan during the time of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, were repeated twice, and the Ikama only once, except that he would say, Ka Kamati Salah, Ka Kamati Salah. The prayer is about to begin. The prayer is about to begin. So when we would hear the Ikama, we would perform wudu and leave our houses for the prayer. Sahih. Shuba, one of the narrators, said, I did not hear anything from Abu Jafar except this hadith. Wa
Shaw. Okay. Perfect. Hope you learned a lot. Definitely was good to practice the ad hand, seeing what it's like. And I think most of us have memorized it, inshallah. But it is cool just to see the history of it and the parts talking about dreams because that is indeed something quite mystical and special. And Bilal is said to have had a very harmonious voice, good at melodonic. It's something that can carry a melody, it's very soothing. So it's pretty cool looking at the whole history. Come to the prayer, come to success. Thanks for watching and if you'd like to support my work or see other things that I write, you can do so by going to my blog which is www.subscribestar.com slash Milan Archive. Hope to see you there.